My name is Tracy Malloy. I'm an artist also. And these are three of my pieces from a series. And they're all based on different emotions. So I wanted to give each emotion a character, kind of being like an animation theme. And um, when Ollie was talking earlier on about what does art, the word art mean, to me, art is another form of communication. Art is also a form of um, self-care. I've just studied art ther therapy in Cork, in Crawford College of Art and Design. So hopefully if they take me in two years' time, I'll be going back to do the Masters. And while I did the actual course, I realised that art is a self-care. Art is a form of expression. Art is a form of communication. And through all the work I've done, I've been expressing myself, even though I know I was expressing myself, but since doing the art therapy course, I've realised how important it is and how important art is in everybody's lives, in everyday lives. And I've always said the first piece of art that was so important was back in the caveman days when men used to use their hands and they expressed how they felt on the cave walls, if they had a great hunt, you'd see the pictures of the animal and the group of people that they were all gathering to hunt. And art is all around us. It's all around us. Colour is all around us. It's just taking that time to look. And if you're walking around Westport and if you see a tree and the colours hit you, just stand for two minutes and just look at the colours. And you'll get such a great sensation from that alone. I had always, I love acrylics and I have to change my artist statement because my work changes all the time. And that's what I love about the art, it doesn't stay the same. I've also loved the idea of using different materials alongside my art. So that one's called guilt, this one's called pain. And this one I can't say because there's children in the building. Uh, <laughs> look at this picture. I can't say the words. Go on, you can say it. Oh, it's called Head Fucked. Yeah, and where did you paint that? I painted this last year. Oh. Yeah. Um, what I wanted to do was put characters to emotions, and um, everybody goes through a stage where their head is just so clogged up with so much different stuff mm. and I always had this feeling it'd be lovely if I could take the top of my head off take the brain out, throw it in the washing machine give it a good cycle, take it out hang it on the line, you know and then stick it back in again it's like, oh yeah so that's the reason and with the square around it for me that represented the washing machine mm. and then that's the head there then, yeah and then the reason why I picked them colours was because of the colours of the water, the sea, no. So you're doing therapeutic art? I did a course, just finished a course on art therapy, yes. Art therapy, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. So the plan is if they take me back, I'll be, hopefully I'll be doing a Masters. Oh, where, where do you do that course? In Cork, in, in Cork, yeah. Crawford College of Art and Design, mm. yeah. And did you have an artistic background? The, well, I always was into drama, I was always into drama and then because I work with adults and children with special needs and when I was working with children in play school environment and just to see how the child that I'll be working with, how they were while they were in the process of making an image, then it, it dawned on me, you know, it'd be a nice road to go down art therapy but art's always been in and out of my life it's never been it's never been a stage where it's never been in my life it's always been in and out of my life but i would never have considered myself an artist and is it in or out at the moment now? it's in it's, it's in, in yeah, yeah. Well, that's, it's nice, that's, a, lo that's in. a lovely picture actually yeah. thank you thank yeah. you yeah it's in and um i actually went to art therapy myself yeah. And um, since I've done the course, um, I realised that how important art is to me, and art is a part of my life. Yeah. And what exactly is art therapy? 
art therapy is basically using art in a therapeutic way. Mm. So, for example, you can have um, a thing called an imagery journal, where you could have a client putting different images in the journal mm -hmm. that's representing what they're going through and the feelings that they're going through. And then through the journal, you can actually work on the issues that they're going through alongside with an art therapist. And in this journal, do you paint? In the journal, you can paint, you can draw, you can do co collage, you can even add sculptures to the imagery journal. And this reflects the mood that you're in at a particular reflect, time? Yes, it can reflect the mood that you're in and it can also, you can use it to work on an issue. And what kind of people use this? Anybody that has uh, mental disabilities, physical disabilities, anybody that um, you can use it with people that may be suffering with alcoholism, you can use it in schools, in, you know, in any environment. Depression? Depression, yeah, is a good one, yeah. Psychosis? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Is it effective? Yeah. It's very, yeah, it mm. is. Because yeah, the thing about art, what I've learned and the research I've done while I was on the course is while you're in the process of making an image, your heart rate goes down, your blood pressure goes down. It's actually good for the body physically as well as mentally. So you hope to have a master's next year? Hopefully, yeah. Well, we'll talk to you again then. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.